Alive. Not looking at me. Oh, I know I am. I am. <laughs> I know. I was just looking at the screen and I realised that we had the Tilda cat on the set and oh, his head was chopped off. Oh no! So I was like, we can't have a headless cat. No, that's not nice. I didn't yeah, notice yesterday. Oh. But no. So I have moved the headless cat. He has. He does actually have a head. He's just down there now with yeah. his head. I know. I know. They're the Tilda toy shed. Have you not seen them? They're so cute. And they're, they're pre-made ones. And then you can, if you go online and look on Tilda's World, then you can make all the clothes and everything for them out of oh, your Tilda lovely. scraps. But we had we had like a handful of these left. That's a good idea for people that are not so they don't confident want to at making the toys. Yeah. But like to make the clothes. But you see, this was always made out of their, their special toy making fabric, which is quite expensive. Yes. And I got these on a really good deal. So um, my Margot's got a giraffe out of them. Yes. I see her with her giraffe. She loves her. She loves her cuddly giraffe. She's cuddling. Yeah. Um, good morning, everybody. How are you? Welcome to Stitchy Witchy Wednesday. It's not actually called Stitchy Witchy Wednesday. It's actually Workshop Wednesday, but it's kind of been rebranded. Yes, it has. Unofficially. Yeah. Because of you, Jane. It's Jane Alcock, everyone. Morning. Yay. Um, Jane, I have several songs <laughs> yes, going through my head. Singing them all day, haven't we? I will share that with you. The only way is up. Yes. But if he has, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, but it's not called that. One way or another, which brings you I'm to going a to <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 and all a bit that. Of blondie. Um, yeah. Uh, also going through my head. That's what this quote is actually called. Yes. Just because you can have it one way or another, you don't have. You know, it's Brilliant. completely. Once you've made that unit that makes up the block, yeah. you can do what you like with it. It's amazing. Which is lovely. It's a very simple block. Is it? Yes. Is it though? It is though. <laughs> is it though? I don't know. I was watching you ironing it this morning because there's little. Yeah. And I was like, well, how does that even work? Because you can't see the seam on the top, but there is a seam, and I don't know. You've witched it. Yeah, it's you've a definite proper witch. Proper witchy woo today. This week, uh, which probably means that by now we've said the name, the, well, the word witch, too many enough times. times that Facebook's probably taken us off air. Good morning, everybody. Let me find you here, lovely people. How are you? Are you having a good day? You having a good day, Jane? Yeah, sun yeah. shining. What more can you ask for? Um, lottery win. Yeah, well, that'd do. World <laughs> peace. I don't know any yeah. of that stuff. All that stuff. Sort of yeah, thing. but apart from that. Yeah, the sun's shining. <laughs> we'll, we'll take that the sun is shining. I'm easily pleased. Yay! Well, then you're the never disappointed. The sun's shining beautiful fabric. What more could I want? Fabulous deals. Oh, tick. Yes, also got that. All those. Good morning, Jan. Good morning, your mother. Morning, Mum. Also Mom. known as Kate. Clean um, that oven. <laughs> no, she got a job to do. She's having a new kitchen, so she's got to get it all cleaned out, pulled everything out and cleaned behind. Yeah, that's the face she pulled as well. <laughs> going to be beautiful it's worth it do you know what I'm in the middle of doing you know when you move house oh and you know the cupboards are a little bit sticky yeah and you're like I didn't even make this mess and I'm having to clean it up yeah and you're like how have they got like this I don't know mm. I had to take numerous empty gin bottles I hadn't even drunk the gin <laughs> to the tip the other day well you say that I know and the guy at the tip went it's another party I wasn't invited to went I wasn't I wasn't either. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Like, you know, nothing to see here. Looking like some sort of alcoholic, <laughs> putting, you know, all these gin bottles in there. Like, crikey. And then they left half their crockery. Hmm. And a llama with a dead succulent in it. Nice. Great. Everything that you really want when you move yeah, in. Yeah. Uh, oh, and a hoover that doesn't work. Oh, Brilliant. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. <laughs> And a slightly dubious dehumidifier, but apart from that, it's all good. Um, morning, Jane. Not you, not you, not you, Jane. Well, yes, good morning. <laughs> morning, Jane. <laughs> morning. <laughs> Jane Vivash. Good morning. Morning, Jimmy. Sometimes I feel like overshare. Sorry. Um, morning, Yvonne. Hello, ladies from Melbourne, Australia. Love your shirt, Natasha. Do you know, thank you very much. It's beautiful. And you can't see, but she's got fabulous shoes on that match the pink on the bird perfectly. There you go. Boom. You can see now. <laughs> I love these shoes. Yeah, now get your leg down again. <laughs> Do you know what? Actually, these, well, I've got the thread, thread on, on them as well. Yeah. Um, you can wash these. They're made They're out amazing. of recycled bottles That's and you fabulous. can throw them in the wash. And I thought, Do you know what? I get that muddy. I actually need washable shoes. Yeah, and bear in mind that all Cornwall does is rain. I'm all They're over that. Perfect. You've yep. got them in several colours, haven't you? They're lovely. 
I'm working my way through. Yeah. It's my new thing. Uh, morning, Evie. That feels like my head at the moment, going on in all directions. I know. I know. Yeah. You can all make the it things. less crazy if you want to. We'll talk about that when we come to it. But I know how you feel, because, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, morning, Anne. Morning, Elizabeth. Morning, Claire. Morning, Natasha and Jane. Flying geese and strip piecing. Yeah, see, somebody knows. Morning, Rona. Nice to have you with us, my love. Uh, morning, Jenny. Jimmy's in with all the ladies now. I know, they love him, don't I've they? I've noticed I've noticed it. So Jimmy. you're saying good morning, Jimmy. Yeah, morning, Jimmy. <laughs> uh, morning, Jimmy. You see, this is it. My... My friend Ben, growing up, right, mm -hmm. all the boys at school used to take the mick out of him because he came to all our ballet and tap classes. Yeah. But he was the only boy at the ballet and tap classes. Yes. Yeah. You know. Um, he now does armed response in the, uh, in the police force, so I don't know mm -hmm. if that's to combat all of the... Uh, <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. He'll be light on his feet and graceful while he's... Whilst he's... Yeah, yeah. absolutely wielding some sort of uh yeah uh morning jenny morning julian morning marilyn morning tracy morning viv morning joy morning Anne. can't find you on the website today says Anne. oh we should be oh Gemma says she's on it get off it Gemma. and then oh she's fixing stuff morning jenny morning dawn um and maxine and Anne. Oh, loving that pattern from New South Wales. Well, I'm, I'm guessing that's what NSW Australia is. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yes. My geography, not great. We know this. Morning, Karen. Karen, did you get yourself a dress in one of these fabulous fabrics yesterday? We, we are going to have a look at them with our subscription blues. But if you haven't, please can you? Because I'd like to see what that would look like. That you have to know, Karen, that every, we get fabric in and we automatic this will make a nice dress for Karen <laughs> yeah, well that's right. how we go that's isn't how it we yeah. are with yeah, our yeah. fabric so Karen will make a good dress for this <laughs> but she would oh she, she really would. would she'd look stunning yeah oh yeah um oh Kate says please don't tell the world that I only clean when forced to <laughs> <laughs> just all join us you know it's, yeah it's a thing <laughs> morning Annie Barton morning all sun is out and so is the washing blowing nicely on the line second load of the washing machine is making terrible noises turn the music up turn us up it's fine we'll sing and you won't hear it yeah. apparently that's not how you combat strange noises in your car I've discovered over the years no no it doesn't mean no work. my mechanic <laughs> has pointed out to me that is not a fix who knew? A bit WD-40 and the volume going up. I thought it was okay. Morning, Lynn. Morning, Nikki. Morning, Joy. I don't do mechanics, by the way, just in case yes. anybody's thinking that's a technical thing. Morning, Yvonne. Oh, she likes my shoes. Oh, thank you. Um, and Chris, good morning. And Becky, good morning. Christine, good morning. Marlene said no rain in Cornwall this morning. Just beautiful. I also have to tell you though, Marlene, I'm going to be living very close to the river that has stepping stones. So invariably my children get stuck in the mud off the stepping stones because they step halfway, then they just paddle off into the mud of the <laughs> river of low tide. And then they get stuck or a croc comes off yeah. and I have to wade in and go and get it. So um, that's also why I need washable shoes. Yeah. It's a lifestyle thing. Yeah, it's this yes, or crocs. Yeah. I think just things a bit prettier. Um, what have you got on your feet, Jane? Get your leg up, <laughs> yeah, says Karen. Right. Like, got, that's going to happen. It'll go wedges. up, but I don't think it'll come down. <laughs> wow. Well, Which way, Jane? <laughs> yeah, one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, oh, I say strip piecing, says Becky. Oh, you've yeah. all jumped on the strip piecing. Yeah, yeah. you know. Um, I love Jane's quilt, says Chris. Still waiting for the instructions. They are coming. On the, oh, Gemma's on, on that it. as well. Gemma's on She's it. on everything. Crikey. Manana, manana. Ah, <laughs> Philip says, hello, Natasha. Some familiar, familiar looking fabrics here. There are, Philip, you know, we've got our blues subscription today for our planes. So we did have a little pull through and see, you know, you might have done us proud on some of your rather fabulous fabrics. And, um, Always. Yeah. yeah. And it's lovely to have you with us. Good morning. Um, that there, Philip Jacobs, you know. He, he does all right, doesn't he? He does. With fabric. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, we'll give him that. Um, morning, Sylve. Forgot to say hello. 
too busy watching. Um, anyone fancy moving my washing machine, says Nikki. Um, out to make way for a new one. They take it away. I was going to say, well, the you bung them a couple it, of extra yeah. quid and they take it away. Yeah. Morning, Genevieve. Um, <laughs> Jimmy sits quietly in case he's accused of anything. Jimmy, you are so welcome. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we'll happily accuse you of all sorts. Don't worry about it. It's just all part of the fun. Morning, Dawn. Did you make your beautiful top, Natasha? No. Ted Baker did, which was very nice of him. Many, many moons ago. Oh, my goodness. I was bought this top when I worked at Creating Craft. First time around. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, this was part of my clothing allowance. Nice. I did. I have realised yeah. that clothing allowance. Mm. I know. Back, <laughs> back in the day, where I actually got a clothing allowance for presenting. That thing with Natasha. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. the sound of this. <laughs> Do you know where we get <laughs> stuck? Mm, clothing allowance. <laughs> Can I just point out though, like the sort of clothes that you guys have suggested we'd make when we've had sort of like velour leopard print come in would make us look like roly polies <laughs> crossed <laughs> with some wonderful. sort of pole dancer gone wrong <laughs> so i think we're gonna knock that one on oh, the head right, for any kind of Spoiler office sport. based <laughs> homemade kind of office anything um because yeah or like a really adult teletubby which again is yeah, not a look no, that i'm going wrong. to really go for <laughs> here at natasha makes so um i mean it, we'll discuss <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the very bottom of the list of things that Natasha has to do. <laughs> <laughs> on the reverse side. Oh, I did really love that for little leopard print that we it got was in. Rather snuggly. It went out in a day. I know, it didn't stay, did it? No, yeah. we never even got to make anything with it. Right, talking of making today, the reason that we have this up today is because on the 4th, what day is the 4th? Sa uh, Sunday. Sunday. This is why we're doing our subscription show now. So if you want to buy this bundle because you haven't subscribed, can they, Jem? It's available now. It's available now. Um, if you have been subscribing, then look, they are ready to go in bags and boxes. As soon as we get your uh, new English pounds, they will be sent out to you. These are the fat quarters or long quarters, if you've subscribed yeah. for the long quarters. Um, and you have got, obviously yours will have all of the beautiful labels on because we work really hard at that. We've got Sky, we've got Peacock, we've got Sapphire, we've got Marine, we've got Royal, we've got Copen, we've got Hawaiian and we've got Aqua. We've called yeah. it the Bright Blues Bundle. It just makes me think of it. Moana. Yes. We could have called it the Moana Bundle, yeah. but we didn't. Um, Jane, if I want to make this, quote here, yeah. what do I need to add in? You need three and a quarter metres of white or your background colour. Yep. We've put a bundle together of what I would have used and this half metre piece of your blue for the binding. Now I've used the um, Copen. So there's an extra half metre of Copen. Amazing. So three and three quarter metres of plain. Um, and we have put that in a bundle for you. Because, you know, Gemma's nice like that. Yeah. Because she's good like that. She's been working away. Do you know what else that would work with? There's a panel sitting by Gemma's feet. Oh, yes. In blues. And I will, I will throw that. Um, I'll have that thrown up in a minute. Oh, that sounds bad, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, thrown in this way. Oh, yeah, passed over. Yes. Delicately, yes. <laughs> delicately passed over. I'm going to keep these here. Do you know why, Jane? Because we have got a selection of blues for you that we think will go beautifully with the subscription blues. If you have subscribed, you need do nothing else. If you wish to subscribe, um, it's a bit late now, but you can just buy the bundles as we go. Is that right, Jen? Because yeah. we're kind of like, what, what are we now? Number eight or something? Yeah, something somewhere so we're, around we're, there. We're chugging on through it. We are chugging on through it. Right, we have got a collection of blues. These are all tagged in today's show. So if you go to Natasha Makes, and you click on Workshop Wednesday, click on Select All, because otherwise you'll only see three things. You'll be yeah. like, oh, that's not very bit. much in there, yeah. is there? Um, ah, what's just happened to my screen? Where do we go, Jane? Where do we go? What have just we done? Minimised yourself. Ah, I did not touch <laughs> a thing. Uh, here we go, right. Um, koi Poloi. I love Koi Poloi. This is on my list to make a swimming bag for the kids. It's perfect for that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Can I just ask, actually, as well, while I'm here, I, as you guys know, I'm in the middle of moving to Cornwall. This will be completed at the end of the week. Um, and I am taking lots and lots of prep with me to do 
and I have an ideas book for all of the prep that I want to do for all the shows going forward. If there is anything that we haven't made that you would like to see made, you can just pop it in the comments because it, we do it for you. We had a lady ask us if we could do um, a da uh, dahlia quilt, so I was having a look at patterns for that. Beautiful. That might Beautiful. be a nice one to do with the next subscription because you'll get that ombre effect. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so that's one that I've got ticking over in my little head. Things that won't work for us is when we get asked if we can do like car seat covers <laughs> and stuff yes. like that because... Upholstery is not really... <laughs> well, it's not that, but uh, firstly, how do we demo it? Yes. Unless we take one of our car seats out. And secondly, everyone's car seat is different. So I really understand that that's something that you might like. But to be honest, you can get it in Halfords for 8 99 I can't compete with that. No. So, um, but anything else, go for it. Mm, now you've opened a can of words. Anything I else? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not saying that I can. <laughs> I'm just saying, please suggest. That looks rather can lovely. Task. You can but ask. That's it. If you don't ask, you don't get, right? Absolutely. Yes, that's the one. Don't ask, don't get, and all that kind of malarkey. Um, so, Take a look. See what you think. Right. These are. What? Do you know what else we've got, Jane? Look. So this one is from Ruby Star Society. That they've got great salvages. Look at the Ruby Star. Amazing. Stars. I love their salvages. So I just thought that was lovely. Pull the blues. Yeah, that. it's really nice. Um, Philip, as you're there, all the blues in all the world mm -hmm. happening there. Rather beautiful, beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. In fact, you'll notice a little theme here because. <coughs> let me see that. There he is. And he's there watching. He is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dancing dahlias in. Is it dark or blue? I can never remember. I think that's blue, is it? Yeah. It is blue, yeah. Um, love of dancing dahlia. I use that quite a lot. Um, Dorothy. I think this is my favourite colourway of the Dorothy. Is it? It's because it's the blues and teals and greens, I think, you know. Well, and doesn't it work so yeah, beautifully? absolutely stunning with those. So, so beautifully with these. So if you are at a loss and you go, well, I don't have many blues in my stash, <laughs> crack on. Um, this is my favourite of the Dorothy. Yes, very sophisticated. Well, You've you got lampshades, haven't I you? I have. That? The lampshades are in the hall ready to take down to Cornwall. They're going to look They're lovely. They're never going to fit in my car. I do know this. <laughs> But I have massive lampshades on them made out of these. Freddie and Emily can wear them as hats as you drive down. Do you know, they probably would. <laughs> they'd they'd love really that. love it. <laughs> Whether or not they would then be usable by the time that we got there. And I have been having, because my, my new ceilings are nearly three metres high. So oh, there's wow. room for some oh, they'll, they'll, big yeah. old, big old um, lampshades. It's stunning. Yeah. Um, so this is your Dorothy. I want to say in contrast. They never call it black, they always call it contrast. Yes. I've noticed this, but yeah, it's got all the colours in the world and I rather love it. I does, I rather love it. It is rather beautiful. Oh, uh, and now you see this one here. Cactus flower. No, 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 no. this is amaryllis. Oh, of course, yes it is, sorry. Amaryllis, amaryllis. Can you do the fandango? Um, Inga's got quite cross with us for making a song out of everything. Yeah, really, really yeah, cross. Like really Gemma's cross, whispering, like really shouted cross. at us. Because <laughs> she was like, life isn't a musical. <laughs> is it my world? <laughs> She's clearly we not did. lived with Gemma that long, has <laughs> she? I was going to say, Gemma and I are always singing at each other. <laughs> <laughs> and I do, I, I do recognise that I do goad Gemma sometimes. Like when I was on my way back from France and I saw the white cliffs of Dover and I sent her a photo and went, now don't sing it. And yeah. she's like, <laughs> <laughs> you had to, you had to. Oh, now this is Charlotte. This is one of the new capes, actually. That looks rather lovely with that bundle, doesn't it? Beautiful doesn't colours. it? Doesn't it? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, um, they are what we, well, some of what, oh, hang on. Helps if I actually show you that, doesn't it? Like a closety, closety, uppity, uppity. There we go. There we go. Um, these are just some. It's funny, isn't it? You know, when you want to go for colour, you've always got to go with the K Facet Collective. Absolutely, because it's got all the colours in. Yeah, they've got all the colours in all the world. Lovely. Now, actually, whilst Philip's here, let's just show you these. Mm. 
because we love these very, very much. And look how all of those have got those blues. In. It's just when you lie them next to them and you just see, oh, yeah. yeah all the colours. Now, this is Cocker Size Mums. I adore this. It's such a versatile fabric with, every, you know, it's got all the colours in. For patchworkers, traditional patchworker like what I am, like you what can you get so many different colours from these fabrics just um, by cutting them up into smaller pieces. They're so versatile. I always think that these are like the best value for money because, like you say, it's like you've got multiple fabrics in one. Yeah. They look fabulous, by the way, in the Japanese fan bags. Oh, yes. That was Lisa's Japanese fan bag, just in case any of you forgot. I did that with the cloisonne. Yes, which looked rather That's lovely. not how I said, is it, Gemma? Croissant. Croissant, yeah. Um, that. Um, but also, I did kits with them, and they just looked amazing. And it's less than half a metre that you need for that. Oh, and that's then, perfect. And then you've got your planes, which are the little bits that divide. For those of you that are wondering what on earth I'm talking about, these bits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, you'd have your blues then to, to break up the fans yeah, and you'd be, be able to stunning. do that. It would be awesome, really beautiful. Someone said to me at Crate and Craft the other day that they wouldn't put the handles and they'd just have it for like putting um, cotton wool buds or something in. Oh yeah, that'd look rather pretty. You could it? odicoat it and have it in your bathroom. Yeah. Um, so did you notice there was a <coughs> half bolt of that sat by the... Um, yes. I messaged Gemma and said I found another bolt, and then afterwards I thought, mm, I wonder if that's been put there out of the way. That's mine. That's <laughs> yes, my own personal it stash of it. One, did it. Have you put it? Have you put it in general? <gasps> <laughs> no, don't <laughs> sit there. Point, look, they're pointing at each other. Sorry. <laughs> Take that down. That's mine. <laughs> I kept going around the way around the house and saying to Gemma, I found another bolt of this. I hide them. <laughs> I honestly, I'm just like, I'm just going to squirrel that away from my own personal use. Sweet. Sweet. So just put it behind <laughs> this. <laughs> um, it's the contrast, this one, because it's got all the colours of my Beautiful. flat in it. Yeah, all the colours. All the colours in all the world. <laughs> I'm going to make cushions for you, all the beautiful chairs. I'm going to make everything. How lovely. Obviously. It's now, my fault. I put my hand up and said, <laughs> it was me. I went, oh, there's a bolt of that yeah. there. <laughs> no, no, no. So, if you would like to get your hands on half a metre of each of these, because they're all gorgeous, and I know you're not going to be able to choose which one you want. We've it done would a be a difficult choice. We've done a quantity deal for you. How nice. Hang on, was it contrast? Contrast, yeah. Just safe. The bundle Yeah. cool, dark, hot and natural. I think it was the natural that I found. It's the last message I sent you. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all right then. These, these are the bundle. Cool, dark, hot, natural. Cool, dark, hot, natural. Wonderful. Um, we've taken a chunk off. Have you? Yeah, as a little, you know, give it a go. That's rather lovely. Well, you know, sometimes we like to treat you on a Wednesday. Well, we Why treat not? you every day. Should be thirty-one eighty. Is actually twenty-four ninety-nine. Super. But. Only for today and only while stocks last on that. We don't have very many. So if you would like to take advantage of that insane deal, please do. Right. Wonderful. Yes. Now, other fabrics that we have found to go with the blues. I'm going to whiz through these just so that you can see. Shadow flower. Oh, that's just perfect. Isn't it? Shadow flower in Jane. Jane, 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 Jane. It's teal. Teal. Yeah, you see, you can't you can't always call it on the colours, can you? No. Um, now this one is um, your. Is it jumbo? Yeah, it is jumbo aqua. Aqua. That is just made for it. Yep, absolutely. Um, and then this one, your flower dot in blue. That's stunning. Also rather fabulous. And then we come to a little bit of Odile Bayeul. I love this one. Look at that with it! Is that not just one of the happiest bundles? Well, it's not a bundle, fabric. But you could bundle it with that one, the dream catcher of hers. Yes. She actually calls that offerings. And then this one with all those blues. Um, oh, that's not a deal, that's dinosaurs. That's a bit of Lewis and Irene, is that? No, Michael it's Miller. not, it's Michael, Michael Miller. Miller. It's mm. Dino Dance Party. But it works. I think I might have to make Freddie a lunchbox out of that. <laughs> He'll love that. Won't he? Absolutely. 
So that's what we have on the show for you today. But not only that, we have also got... Um, it's one less of these. Oh, you're putting it in your bag. So um, I had a little rummage... <laughs> Tidy space, tidy mind. Yes. I've been tidying. Um, and I found a whole box of panels. And I'm like, what are these? They're like, well, they're just, they're just panels. How much off this? 25%. 25% off. So if you wanted a panel, I didn't think we had any of these left. I was like, where are these? I was surprised been? they were. £7.19. £7.19. £7 pence. What? I know. And do you know what? This was the one, Jane, that I went, oh, yes. wouldn't that work? Absolutely. Job done. Yeah, you could put it with this bundle. Well, well exactly that, studying. exactly that. But when they're gone, they're gone. Seven pounds nineteen. Crack on. It'll make a fabulous table runner on its own. I know, I know. It's beautiful, isn't it? And it's it looks like, like tiles, tiles, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Really beautiful. So you'd only need to sash it, and you're done. Yeah. Sash quilt back done. Amazing. Lovely. Um, so that is, that is that. Um, we have got some other panels coming our way. Let me just show you our Half Meter Heavens. Half Meter Heavens go live tomorrow at, no, tonight at midnight. So they are live as in tomorrow. That makes it, ooh. Now this, we were talking about these yesterday um, and this was the Tula Pink. So we've reloaded some of these, as yes, many as we can. Popular, this is the Foxy, Foxy, Foxy one. <gasps> I was stood in the fields chatting to a friend last night. It was dusk. And I just caught a little movement out of the corner of my eye in the corner of the field, and a massive fox oh, wow. was wandering along. He looked so healthy. Oh, that's good. Not surprised he's eating my chickens, isn't he? Mm -hmm. um, glad to know that's made him the man he is today. Um, do you, if you would like Foxy in, um, well, outfoxed in glimmer, with a bit of scarlet. I love that combination together. Yes. Teal and red. It's lovely. I saw it on one of these do it up yourself shows. Yeah. And the designer came in and went, Oh yes, it is a teal and red and I thought, why haven't I never seen that before as being a great combination? Hedgehogs. Who I will doesn't love a hedgehog. Always love hedgehogs. My look. dog Daisy doesn't love a hedgehog. We've got one in our garden, she goes mad. <laughs> but look they're little um they're little like dandelions. That's it. I'm I'm doing I'm doing like mm. charades <laughs> for you. I'm going, you know. <sighs> It either looks like I'm trying to cool a sausage on a stick or... Uh, I'll blow a dandelion clock. That's <laughs> it. Um, and that's what the, fa what the back is made out of there. I'm going to do it on a close-up because yeah, close-up cameras decided that. to work today. Well, that's good news. I know, right? There we so go. cute. Really cute. Um, and then... Oh, I love this. One man's trash. It's so... It's just fun. Yeah, because you start looking at it properly and there's an And you see the pole. raccoon with an apple and there's a bin. There's all sorts going on. I really love it. I think Emily would like this. Yes. So if I do Freddie's lunchbox out of the dinos and hers out of this. Yes, she'd like that. She's always telling Freddie to tidy stuff up. Um, bear with me. Takes you a while to see the bear's face in there. But then once you start there seeing it, it, you see the bee. Oh, and the, and yeah. the beehive. Oh, beehive, Jane. Mm -hmm. um, can you see it? Can you see it? I think that's the beauty of Tugler's fabric. You look at it and you keep seeing more and more as you look at it. There's so much in the design. Yeah. And as it starts clever. to come into to focus as well. Yeah. Helps. Um, what did I make yesterday, Jane? You made a beautiful bag. They'd look nice in that, wouldn't they? Would. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's down here. You made two beautiful bags. I did make two beautiful bags. But could you imagine having that on there? Yeah. Rather nice, wouldn't it? Be like, oh, lovely, lovely, mm. lovely, lovely. Um, and then, oh, nuts in glow with royal. Beautiful. The squirrels. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, so they've been yeah. reloaded. They are available now for you. You don't even have to wait until tomorrow, do they, Jim? I'm no. saying that. No, they're loaded now. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted any of those, ooh, doesn't that, mm, um, really then grab those now. But going live tomorrow night, are no tonight ready for tomorrow yes ah we um, lost track of the day haven't we because of the bank holiday know. keep thinking it's tuesday llama fiesta in we cloud. love a llama amazing emily has a dress out this loves it i know it's gorgeous absolutely loves it um it is one of her favorites um 
I was saying to Gemma the other day when we were show planning ahead, the 19th of September is her birthday and she was asking if she could do some of her fabric bundles that she likes to do. She was in the warehouse the other day saying, Mummy, can I, can I put some colours together? So we'll let her have some of Emily's Lots. choice. They Emily's always choice. sell out. Yeah, she's, she's got, got really good eye for colour. Yeah, she's yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Um, this is an amazing um, in confection with cardinal. Look, it just pulls the colour of their hats. And they're called bubble hats. But actually, again, you know, they look rather fabulous together. Yeah. Um, that there, Philip again. Beautiful. Coleus, and we've put it with gold. No, gold! You put it with orange. Oh, orange. It's coleus gold. Oh, it's coleus gold, <laughs> and I put it with orange. I knew there was a gold in there somewhere. It's been a long week already, Jo. <laughs> it's only Wednesday. <laughs> I didn't get bank holiday off, though. That's no, the trouble. I was working like a crazy lady. Um, yes, and yes, pink Absolutely. and green. Always a winner for me. Oh, do you know what I found? Look, as well. We've got a bit of this, Jane. Ooh. Now, this is your cactus flower. Oh, right, yes. Again, Philip. Thank you, Philip. Um, with scarlet. Nice. I've always gone for the blue in the past, and actually, yeah. I didn't need to, because if you, go, if you get your blue subscription, you're going to have that blue in there anyway. But yeah. look at it with the scarlet. How it exciting really is that? It pops the pinks. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Um, and Philip and Jen, again. I couldn't remember if we'd half meet heaven this at all, but um, Izzy wanted it to go with lime. Yeah, Izzy won because we were all yeah. going different colours. So this isn't this is Philip as as himself at Snow Leopard. Yeah, this isn't part of the um, KFC, K Facet Collective. So this is your tropical butterflies with lime. Stunning. Beautiful. That would make a beautiful beach bag, wouldn't it? What well, anything? Just shows off the the everything. fabric to its best. Uh, now, it's quite a lot of Philip oh, going on today, isn't this there? Fabric. This is your Japanese chrysanthemum mm, 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 in purple, and I have put it with emerald because, you know, yeah. Be rude not to, really. Yeah. I just love these. Well, you know, I'm a bit heavily into my plique flowers at the moment. Yes. It's, all, it's always Philip. Philip, it's always you. Oh, now, what about a lovely set of melons? Oh, nice some melons. Oh, I nice this melons. Tone because it's quite. It's subdued, muted, isn't muted. it? Muted. But this, is it raspberry? Um, raspberry. Look at it with the raspberry. Isn't it beautiful? So this, again, this is Philip. This is, um, this is your melons in grey, watermelons in grey. Um, I have used this fabric before to make our pumpkins. Yes. And it looks beautiful. Yeah. Really beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we are going to have a Halloween pumpkin-based show, I think, on the 19th of September. So, you know, get ahead. Buy ahead because I've only got a bit of that on the bolt. Now, if you would like some more Tilda, why not grab your peacock with some cadet blue? That's lovely the way it pulls out the blues Isn't in there. It? That you don't, I mean, you know the blue in the peacock, but there's this subtle little bit of blossom flower there and that it really pops it. Ka pink. Yeah. There it is. Um, right, and so then also for our final half <coughs> meter for this week, going live on the Natasha Makes website at midnight tonight. Now, this was a funny one because this is um, Dorothy in natural, and I've gone with sangria because whilst that colour isn't actually in there, the blend of it is. Yeah, pulls it all together. Yep. Yeah. It's very clever. Very clever, and also it'll work with your blues. Absolutely. So that Jane is today's offering. Nice, a nice selection there. Not gonna lie, I'm 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 quite pleased it's rather with lovely. myself. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing so like a bit of be. self yeah, congrat not? congratulations. Not? These fabrics that I did not design, I'm rather proud of. <laughs> <laughs> But it is, it's just such a beautiful make. And if you haven't seen our pumpkins, maybe Gemma could throw us a pumpkin um, from the bowl in the hallway. We have them out all year round. Do you know where it came from? I've got a brass bowl that always used to be in my hall. Yeah. And at um, Halloween, I'd always buy tiny gourds. Yes. And, um, which was... Oh, well, you've been... You've she'd been squirrelling away. Oh, look and, at um, that she's And found. they'd last for a while... And then they'd just go, yeah. and you'd find them a bit mouldy around the base. So I, um, I started making fabric gourds, and then they went all year round, and I don't have to worry about them going mouldy or the cats eating them. This is a classic. 
Now, panels, 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 panels. Let me show you these panels. Um, Gem, what? Oh, here we go. 30% off, 7 99 down to £5.59. Emily has this as a picnic blanket. It's lovely. We've got it in white or we've got it in midnight. In the Navy. In, in the Navy. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> or we've got it in the Navy. Um, yeah, I quite, I, think I quite like it as day and night. Put two together. Look at that. How clever was that? Oh, this is, yeah, so this is one of my, uh, my pumpkins. And we've got the pattern on the website. Um, and that's just a bit of... Um, is it cinnamon? Yes, thank you, it's correct. And that's... Glue that in. Yeah, I glued it in. Yeah. Bit of pin filet glue does the job. Nice. The same thing that I but glued. But it also works. Gemmas. See, it still smells of cinnamon, so yeah. it works as a sort of air freshener too. There's another one. There's a little site. There's a little one in there as well. Yeah. Kaif actually has one. This is a pin cushion. I know because I made it for him. Oh, how lovely! Yeah, on one of my trips down to interview. There we go. Um, so these five pound. What did we say? Five fifty nine. Five fifty nine. Something ridiculously low. Uh, thirty percent off anyway. There's when not they many are left. Gone. I think there's only one of the white ones. When they're gone, they're gone. Yeah. Thirty percent off. Yeah, five fifty nine. Oh, you can't go wrong. If you've got a grandchild, everybody knows the very hungry caterpillar. Yes. they do. Well, they it's just a do. Classic book, yeah. isn't it? It's one yeah, yeah. That, that's timeless. I have vivid memories of it as a child. In fact, getting it out of the library in Seaford. Now, something's written on here. Printed width of That's 18 cool. inches, <laughs> half a yard, actually 19 and a half. Ooh. Look at this. Oh, this one, Jane. Yes. Love this one. And you know what? We've got some of the coordinating fabrics still left cut to the meat by the half metre. Yes. If you want them. Yeah. Um, so this has got 25% off. Um, and this is... Um, I can't remember who this was. P and B fabrics, I know that. Star bright, isn't it? P and B textiles, star bright. Yeah. So if they need to look up for the two, because I nearly half me to heaven the bolts that went with this actually. Yes. Um, I should have done that. Love this. It's cute. My and you, we used the free pattern, didn't we, off yeah. their website to uh, Jennifer my Ellery. Jennifer Ellery. That's it. Um, my beautiful friend Emma Claire, who has managed to produce the most beautiful baby, last week. Bless her. She got one of those. Girls. Nice. Yes. And also, all the blues. And then from the same range, this was the panel. We've got a couple of these left as well. Let the adventures begin! Nice. So we had 14 originally. I don't know how many we've got now. But, Gem, what price are we looking at for this? Those two. Bit of gorgeousness. They differ. They differ. Look They're at them all weird. going off to the moon. It's good fun. Good fun. We will actually start doing some sewing in a minute, but as and when Gemma gets these all loaded and whatnot, she's just going to throw them in, just so that you know. But these are all discounted. For today for you. Oh, I love this. This is fun. I love this. Do you know what? I might make Beautiful one for... Beautiful This is, yeah. Cushion. Cyril the snail. Now, 40% off, 7 17 up. What? I said to Gemma, just, you know... Do what you like. Do what you like, or... And you get two snails for that price. We get the front and back snail. Yeah, but you could make two cushions with that. Well, you, you could. Two fronts. But do you know what I'm looking at? <laughs> it's how beautiful it works yeah, with, with the, the blues. blues. <laughs> um, oh, no, come on. So you could. You could have a snail on the front, patchwork the back, or just strip piece the back. Yeah, absolutely. It's nearly a metre of fabric there. I know. For seven, know like seven seventy-nine. Shh, don't upset me. Do you know what else we've got there? Are these very retro? Well, Gemma had some of these for a caravan. Yeah. I think they're from the same range. But again, if you want festival cushions and stuff like that, this is the thing. Yes. This is absolutely. the one. Gemma, what have you taken these down to? <laughs> same as the Cyril, was that, Gem? Sorry, that's not that's your Inder voice. Why are you suddenly using your Inder voice, Gem? didn't think I had one. No, well, no, we're <laughs> surprised. So I'm pointing it out. <laughs> um, so hang on, same as the Cyril. So, is it Seriously? 779. Crazy. Oh, for goodness sake. 12.99 each. If you've got grandkids or anything like that, 
that's heading off for festivals. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Um, all of the blues today also going so beautifully with... Oh, your new fabrics. Yeah. These ones. Robert Colfer. Yeah. Is it called Midnight Nectar or something? Midnight. Um, yeah. It's called Beautiful. Yeah. Midnight it's not. Midnight it's called Nectar. Midnight Nectar. It's now got the gorgeous hummingbirds on it. Some of these sold out in their colourways yesterday. But it I mean, just surprise me. That fabric is stunning. Yeah. If you need that in your life, the orders are just in from yesterday, so we start cutting today. Lovely. Um, right, Jane. I've done my bit. I better do some work then. Yeah. So thank you, everybody. Gemma's going to keep passing these in. So when they come up, if you could just yeah, I'll waft them around. Quite happy to do that. Have we, Good job. Have we done that one, Gemma, next to the that's on its own. That might oh, the shell nice thing. might oh, go nice with the thing. with the bundle. Shenanigating all over the right. shop. Right. You can show that one if you want, but it's not done yet. It's not done yet. Okay, so keep an no. eye out then for this one. I've got a feeling one. this one sold out, and that's just a spare one that we had. So because this just. I love this bundle. I love this fabric, and it didn't hang around long. But this panel has got all the, all the shells and all the shelby jobby what's it bits and the fabulous mermaid's tail. I think that's my favourite block on there. Mermaid's tail. Next to the seahorse. I love a seahorse. Oh, the mermaid's tail. Yeah. But look how that goes with that bundle. Do you know what? Should I have got that for young Emily Alice, who's told me that she would like a mermaid riding a unicorn? Yeah. With rainbows. Rainbow. Yeah. That's lovely. So. I think there's only this one, isn't there? This is the last one of this panel. That's the only one. Yeah, so. <laughs> Karen's just, but we love Gemma. Yeah, <laughs> all right, I bet you do. <laughs> bet you blinking well We do. all love Gemma. You too. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that's right. You did, Elizabeth. She says, I made one for my carer's tiny granddaughter for Christmas. We're not allowed to give carer's prezzies. And it wasn't for her. That's how she got around that one. Yeah, clever. Um, and that's the thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. You know, these are perfect, perfect for gifting. And at this price, you can afford to be generous. So, Jane, what you got? Today's block is made up of these arrow units. So simple. Um, it's, it's crazy. Anybody could make this. It's a beginner quilt, absolutely. Um, you know I love flying geese, but you know so I don't like waste. I don't like having to cut things off and put them to one side. No, you do not, Jane. So this is another way of doing a flying geese, an individual flying geese unit. Whoa, 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 without whoa, whoa, wastage. What? You stitchy witch. <laughs> um, morning, low. Morning, low. Morning, low. Morning, Patricia. Morning, Joanne. So what I thought I would do, because it's so simple, is I would show you how I cut up the fabric to get the best from the fat quarter. Now, if you've got the fat quarter bundle, this is easy to follow. If you have the long fat quarter bundle, it's the same. You just don't cut as many strips. Okay. Because obviously a fat quarter is half of. Um, so straightforward. As always, I've treated my... I'll just put the iron on. Um, I've treated my fabric with some best press i'm going to put the salvage against the cut edge best that's my best. width we've got best press left or was it flatter it's flatter sorry yes it's so one of those words yeah. isn't it that just comes straight into your head um yeah i've used flatter i flattered my fabric <laughs> told it how beautiful it was how yeah it was wonderful made it feel good about itself yeah have you ever seen those scientific studies about the difference in the water molecules with water when you talk nicely to it? Really? It's frightening, Jane. But, oh, and it just yes. and the, just the difference in its makeup. It, and you you go like what? How what? How is that a thing? But honestly, it's snowflakes and stuff like that. It just happy water. Yeah. Yeah. And bearing in mind that we're made up of over seventy percent water. Yes. If we spoke nicely to ourselves. Yeah. Well, this is it, isn't it? What a difference that would make. We're quite hard on ourselves, aren't we? Okay, all profound. Oh, um, um, Claire said that French, she's French educated. She never saw the caterpillar until she got into the UK in 2006. Did they not, have they not put it in every language under the sun? Mm, I would have thought so, but maybe not. Or maybe it's just not as it's part of our childhood, isn't it? The yeah. hungry caterpillar. He's been around. I'm sure he would be monging everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. 
Excellent so, Frenching. excellent Frenching. Thank <laughs> you. I'm glad that we can all recognise that my French is coming on in leaps and bounds. Well, more of a stumble. <laughs> <laughs> so your fat quarter, salvage, cut edge, that's your width of fat quarter. So you'll see in the pattern it says W-O-F-Q, width of fat quarter. So when I'm cutting mine, I put them, put my cut edge to my salvage, making sure that when I hang it, this, it's hanging straight. So sometimes you're going to have a little bit over the edge where it's not quite straight to the grain. And this is no fault but the person that put it on the bolt in the first place. We try our best to cut it straight, but if it's not on the bolt in the first place straight, we're fighting a losing battle. So we trim off that excess on the side, the minimum amount that we need to trim off just by lining the fold up with the horizontal line on my mat and then just finding that overlap on the vertical line. So just a little bit of wastage there, but now I've got a nice straight edge to work against. So I flip that over to my left hand side because I'm right handed. And then from this strip, this piece of fabric now, I am going to cut four three and a half inch strips do you want the stripology, Jane? Yeah, you can use your stripology. That would make life simple and straightforward and maybe a lot quicker. But I'm so used to using my ruler. Oh, Margaret's with us. Morning, Margaret. She's up and watching on the TV. But mm -hmm. the laptop was busy doing other stuff with its uh, little share of the broadband which is a narrow band. Right, can I just have a quick rant while you're cutting stuff yes, there, Yes, go Jane? ahead, rant away. Trying to get broadband. Oh, Gemma's cringing because she knows what I'm going to say, right? Bearing in mind, I'm moving into an area with zero signal. And I've been trying now for over a month to get some sort of landline or and or broadband connected to my home. It's quite important in the line of work that you do. Well, firstly, I can't run my business. Secondly, I have absolutely no way of contacting the outside world. Well, unless I actually like step outside. Um, <laughs> and use a, a megaphone. I could just send Emily. She <laughs> is my megaphone. And, uh, but you'd, you'd think in this day and age, wouldn't you? That, I mean, it's just flicking a few switches, surely, isn't it? Just reconnecting a line. You'd think so, wouldn't you? I mean, again, not to be technical, but sure, they've just got to flick a few switches. Uh, just over a month. Oh, well, they've been on strike. Thank you. So, actually, we everything else grinds to a halt. Yeah. This is what happens. Um, rant over. There we go. Okay. So, from my fat quarter, I've cut four, three and a half, and two, two and a half inch widths of fat quarter strips. So, if you've got the long quarter, you'll cut two, three three and a halves and one two and a half you'll get it out of your fat, fat lo long quarter rather so from three of these strips I'm going to cut um, six and a half inch rectangles now I kept the strip together well I moved it slightly to get rid of the salvage but then I could cut two in one go so I just straightened up this end so I lined a um, horizontal line of my ruler up with the top cut edge and just trimmed that little bit there to get rid of the salvage and straighten the edge up turned it around and of course creative grid ruler just happened to be six and a half inches wide which is very handy so I've cut two and then I get my third one by opening the strip out and cutting that perfect and you will get three from each strip each strip and you need nine so you're going to cut all of those up into your rectangles do you know what I love about our viewers they just know stuff Jane they do I have a rant and already Lowe's like you need satellite broadband I'll message you with the details perfect Amazing. there we go there you are you see hive mind yeah but from your fourth strip you are going to cut two squares and two two and a half inch rectangles. I'll come back to that in a moment because there is a little 
adage on one of them. And then you leave these two strips as they are because we're going to make strip sets with those as people have already worked out. Oh. So from your background fabric, you're going to need to cut, you've got a, quite a lot of cutting to do with your background fabric. So you're going to want width of fabric strips, full width, um, at the same width as these, but you're then going to cut it in half and just cut it in half with your scissors. Just get your scissors in the fold and cut it along the fold like that. So then you've got two of these and two of these and one of those. So you make your strip set sewing along the long edge with your coloured piece in between. And you'll do that with all your fat quarters so you've got all these pieces. Now you might want to do one fat quarter at a time. Do all your cutting of your white and then cut one fat quarter of, of your blues at a time just to keep yourself um, a little bit sane with the cutting because there is quite a lot of cutting to do although it's quite simple cutting. I love a bit of cutting. And if you've got your stripology like you say it'll, it'll be done in no time. Seconds. Yeah. Quicker than seconds. So that's what your um, strip set will look like for that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry I'm just sneezing. Bless you. Right. So let's make the flying geese unit. So you've done your strip set, so you'll have that like that. Um, and you'll cut this into um, sections. You'll get six from one, and then you'll need to cut three from the other. So you'll have leftover part. And you cut that up into a three and a half inch section. You'll need nine of those. I'm really sorry. I'm just going to turn sneezing. that round and just trim that straight. I feel slightly better. Karen's been trying to sort out her mum's broadband for the last two months. Oh gosh. She doesn't even live out in the sticks. Yeah, they've now put me down as a welfare case. <laughs> um, and they've said that it would actually be easier to just connect me to the old copper one and not the fibre optic that they've got in there. Yeah. Uh, because that might take less than months to yes. sort. Yeah. And then you can upgrade, at least you've got something, haven't you? Yeah, and they said that, you know, it might, if we can pass it through as a welfare case, because if anything happened to the kids, I've got no way of yes. getting any kind of help. Yeah. It's All interesting, isn't it? Yeah. All good fun. Right, so, to make the flying geese unit, this is <coughs> such a simple... Still sneezing, sorry. <laughs> Just carry on. I'd mute my mic, but we'll be here for days. Now, there's two ways of making flying geese. You can take your squares your background squares and your rectangle and um, using your fabric marker boom, boom, I'll just use an, there it is. <clears throat> you can mark your diagonal line from corner to corner Oops. well Margaret's grandparents moved into the farm in May 1925 and it already had telephone installed we've gone backwards yeah. <laughs> Technology becomes so complicated. And you could sew on that marked line and then trim that corner a quarter of an inch away from the sewn line and press it back. But what you would have is you'd have all this extra spare fabric. That's that not what you've done, is it, Jane? No. So, this is a way of doing a flying goose unit and again, it's a no waste method. So we take two of the squares, the background squares, mm. we fold the rectangle in half along the long edge. Mm. We don't crease it, but we make sure that the, the raw edges are together and level mm -hmm. with each other. We then take the square of the background and we place those raw edges against one side of the square. And then we put the other square on top. So we're creating a sandwich. And you can't say sandwich without going, Sandwich, like in the um, Sweetie advert. <laughs> oh, I don't know that one. Have you not seen it with the policeman? No. It's a sandwich. Making stuff up now. Yeah. It's words, isn't it? We were saying this about the other day. They can't say, we went to a classic car festival and they got motorbikes there and I said, you can't say Kawasaki without doing it in a northeast accent. You have Jordan. to say Kawasaki. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, you'll have your um, rectangle folded in half with your two squares on top and you can see that it's 
quarter of an inch ish short on this side. Now, the logic in you as a patchworker thinks, all right, I'm going to sew down this side with all the raw edges on that side there. That's all the raw edges. Yeah. Well, you However, don't. You don't actually. You sew down the top side so you're encasing that fold along there what now with your quarter of inch seam jane 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 that's craziness crazy stitchiness and again it's at this point if you've not done it before you I think done it before like the four the, the five square method that i usually do when yeah you four in one go yeah and it you looks like a heart point. and i still can't remember yeah. how it works and every, that, every time get to that every point time, and you're like yeah. Well, how's that going to happen? So you now open that out. You've got the fold at the top. Just press that seam down. You can take it to your iron and press it, but just press it to one side. Now this is the magic bit. You put your thumbs in or your fingers in and you get hold of the, the two edges of the square. Oh, Jane. And then you pull it towards <gasps> you and it creates the triangle, which creates your flying geese unit. Now you'll have a bit of a crease there, so if you line that crease up with your seam underneath, you should know that you're pretty much in the middle. Um, pins. Pin cushion. There's one. It's got pins on it. Um, is just by the iron. Oh yeah. Blind. So pop a pin in. Just make sure that you bring it down so that the points are against the, you know, it's come to a nice sharp crisp point and it'll fit into the corner. Pop a pin in there just to hold it down, turn it round and again you'll just need to, to just manipulate it slightly just to fold it to make sure it gets into a sharp, a sharp point to form the triangle. That Try not to clever. pull it because it's not, it is a biased edge so you don't want to distort it. And then you're just going to take it and you're just going to do a, a a line of stitch just right close to the edge just to hold it down like a basting stitch. yeah you can lengthen your stitch if you want to but there really is no need just just within the seam lamp so it's sort of you know an eighth of an inch or less that depends on how confident you feel but within the quarter of an inch seam allowance amazing That is it. amazing. How does she do it? <laughs> Gemma, how does she do it? Witch crust stitching. It's not me, witchery. it's somebody else designed it a long, long time ago. That's but it's so just clever, a very though. clever way, again, of not having any waste with your fabric. Not having all those triangle bits that you think, what am I going to do with these now? But what you do get is a fun little pocket yeah, to stick you've got your fingers in. Like a, and it's a biased edge as well. So, you know, you can have fun with these triangles. You could make a row of Snacks. them in green, oh. make Christmas trees, stick your Christmas cards in them. Uh, well, why haven't we done that? <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Can we, we can do, do that? that? Yeah, we can do that. So I write that down, Gemma. It's another show, show mm. idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll write it down in my show book. Hang on, you I've got a show like book. the Indian goddess you do with all those arms. Yes. <laughs> so you've got your flying geese unit and you've got your strip set unit. Hang on, it's going in my show ideas book. <laughs> and we're just going to literally sew those together so that the strip unit goes to the bottom of your triangle and that creates your arrow unit and you're going to make nine of those Jane that's so clever you're in the book. I've written on the front of my book that if, if it's found, please return it to my desk. Otherwise I might cry. Yeah, because it's got your whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. whole shows in it. All Actually, of your Actually what's written on the front of my book. <laughs> so there you go, there's your, there's your arrow unit. You're going to make nine of those from each fat quarter block. Now, you may remember that we cut um, the two squares and the two rectangles in that colour. Well, we're just going to do the reverse. So we're using the colour for the background and we're using white to make the arrow. Mm -hmm. So again, we just fold the rectangle, 
Sandwich, sandwich it between together. the two squares. Yeah. Sew down the side that's got the fold encased in it. Yeah. That's the that's the one because at first you because your head says you sew all the raw edges together, but you don't. But you don't because it won't work. <laughs> Oh, hello. Gemma's just handed me some YouTubers who are saying, oh, Cynthia says, oh, hang on, hang on, I'm just going to change the camera angle. Um, she doesn't say that. She said, greetings from southwest Ohio. Fun project. Which way? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, morning, lovely ladies. Fabulous quote, Jane, says Dawn. And Ali says, good morning uh, from a great drying day in West Berkshire. Ooh, you lovely. will be my company while doing the VAT once the chaps get on their tractors. Ooh. Oh, Ali, pack them off on their tractors with snacks so they can go and play all day. So we've pulled that down to create the, the flying goof unit. We're just going to sew now along there just to hold it down just within the, the quarter inch seam allowance. About an and there, of an is inch. A, there is a seam allowance in there, amazingly, isn't there? Yes. Somehow? Yeah. Because what happens is the, the triangle comes to the corners of the squares of the background, but of course when you add the next piece on, that creates your seam allowance within the unit. Just so clever. Just so blinking clever. And then with your rectangles, you'll have a, the same size in the white, so you'll put the white in between the two coloured ones. So quarter inch seam allowance seam either side of those. You don't do a strip set with this because you're only actually cutting one, making one, and I've called it the negative, the negative unit, which I don't want to sound negative about it, but it was the only way I could yeah, think no, of. Yeah, no, no, I guess. I suppose that. I could have said contrast unit, but it's like the negative of the of the arrow unit. And you'll you'll make one of each from each of your fat quarters. Now you will need, because you've only got eight fat quarters and it's a nine patch block quilt top, you will need to choose one of your fat quarters to have um, an extra negative unit from. Right. And you can get that from your piecing. Now what will happen is you'll be able to get, if you remember I had that four strip of the three and a half, yes. you'll be able to get from that, you've cut your two and your two rectangles, which we used for this unit, you will be able to get two more squares and you might be able to get, I'm not going to get it out of mine, you might be able to get a two and a half inch strip. If you can't, take it from your width of fat quarter strip for your strip sets. Take two, um, two, two, three and a half inch rectangles. It's all written in the instructions, so don't think you've got to remember any of this. It's all in the instructions. So you can cut two rectangles from there, three and a half, two and a half rectangles. So that makes your second negative unit, mm. but you've still got enough there to get your nine from your strip set because right. you have that bit left over anyway once you've made your strip sets and put them together. That's amazing. So the instructions are there and, it, and it, I've written it in italic bold, I think, if Gemma's copied it from what I sent her, just so that you know you have to do that from just one of them. Yeah. And you can decide which colour you like the best or how you want it to go. And this is all part of the, you know, your own design process, really. So I'm just going to sew the, the triangle to the top of there. So clever. So I've got the arrow unit in the negative colourway. So very clever. It's quite a simple make. That unit is quite straightforward to do. It's not complicated. They would also look great as a cushion. Yes. One block would make a lovely cushion. Yeah. Now, the other thing you can do with these people that are in the know will know that you've got a biased edge here. So what you can do is you can just gently pull that in towards you to create a curve. Oh, nice. And if you pin that down and you pull the other curve in, 
I like you would a cathedral window. A bit like a cathedral window effect, Isn't yeah. It? And you can sew that down. So you can just take it to your machine, if I put this back into the middle, and you can just start on this edge here and sew as close as you feel comfortable to the curve. And when you get to the point, you can just stop and pivot and go back round. So I'll do that on this one. Me. We have got gold thread in, but it'll look quite attractive, I think. Yeah. I better put we'll my glasses that. on for this because I'm quite oh. close to the edge. Oh, uh, Karen thinks this would look amazing in all the rainbows. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. It would look lovely in a rainbow effect, wouldn't it? With the ombre fabrics. With the beautiful oh, ombre. With the ombres would be amazing. You could do each block in a different ombre. Uh, so I'm just sewing quite close to the edge of the, of the fold. Using my fingers, you could use your fingers or your um, stylus, stiletto. I think I just went off the edge there a bit, but that's right. And then when you get to the point at the top, you just stop with your needle down. Yeah, I've gone over a little bit, but my wheel dropped off this morning, Jane. <laughs> like if you've just if you've just stitched off, then that's fine. And then you come down the other side. Jenny says this is another great one for me to do. Less blocks and you get a 40 by 60 quilt for the project I make quilts for. Perfect. Claire says, my Ryan would go nuts over this quilt, especially in different colours. Ooh, there's a red arrow and a blue arrow. Let's count them. And that's just it, isn't it? It's getting you kids involved. You have really good fun with it. Yeah. And you could do it in all their playing colours that they're like, yeah. you know, Freddie will go crazy for this because um, he loves blue. Yeah. He would love it. Yeah. So you can see, I've sewn that down now. I would usually use the same colour. Now you can do it with, with your, just your negative one. You could do it with all of your blocks if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. It's a design option within the unit. It also um, holds it down. So the only problem, if you like, it's not a problem really, but if you wanted to have your quilt long arm quilted, yeah. your long arm quilter wouldn't want it loose like that because it would catch right okay on the got that, yeah. so they may probably ask you if you want to keep it like that to tack it down before you took okay. it to them or if you've done this method you might get away with it although they might be a bit worried about that bit because it's still a bit loose that's the only thing for a long from a long arm quilting point of view so once you've got all your blocks um, it's then to decide how you want them now I chose to put the negative one in the middle and then I just literally put the um, arrows any which way that I fancied. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. You can you can have fun with that, putting them, you know, any direction. Or you might feel you want to be slightly more organised, and you might like to have them going all around. Gemma would love me to be slightly more organised. <laughs> <laughs> you might just like saying. to have them going round in the same direction Perfect. which of course you can do you might feel that you want <gasps> oh, imagine to have, that an ombre yes <laughs> you might feel that you want to have all the same color per of, block per block yeah so you've got a solid well you see the, and you could then shade it down from dark down through to we've light we've got beautiful um different colored ombres with Absolutely the gold specks through and, the and they spec. would they be stunning st i'd do that in black though I do yeah. it with a black background. So yes. you'd have to get well, this is it. Your background colour could be, it would look equally as dramatic with a ba black background as yeah. it would with a white one. You might want to do a diff, you know, a contrast colour. You might like the blue with a yellow background. Oh. You know, you can choose your background. You need three and a quarter metres. For us, you'd have to do, you'd have to order three and a half. We put the white bundle with the with the dark blue um, for the binding because that's to go with this bundle for the quilt that I've made um, and then it's a nine patch so it really is a case of throw, sewing the three units together in rows of three and then sewing the rows together it's a simple quick and easy make um, I would like that as a cushion it's can we got make that one up for as a cushion for yeah Freddie? we can do that for as a cushion and then I've put sashing strips between so these make 18 and a half inch box so I cut Sashing strips to go between the blocks, made those into rows of three. Sashing between the rows, you can see on here. Sashing between the rows, um, joining the rows together. 
then I put the same size sashing strip always measure I've put the measurements in the pattern but I do recommend that you measure your quilt mm. yourself because everybody's quarter inch is slightly different yeah it's true so just cut it to your measurement perfect um, top and bottom and then a little bit longer on either side now if you wanted to you could take one of the beautiful blue fabrics and add another board around it which would incorporate all the colours. And the thing is, once you get your subscription, then yeah. you're going to know which one you'd like to do that. Yeah. And then you can just order it off our website as by you'd, the, by the half metre. If you were going to do, let's say, for example, you were going to do um, a five inch border, you'd probably need a metre of fabric. Right. OK. Which would Fair give enough. it a nice it's quite balance. A big one, and then it? you could bind it as well. So, yeah, it's a 62 inch square. Wow. So it, it grows quickly. They're quick and easy. You can get into chain piece in those rectangles, no problem. Do you know what? You could have quite a lot of fun with that as a table runner. Yes. As well, could yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. You could have the arrows going in from both sides, yeah. coming in to meet in the middle. Yeah, absolutely. Ah, what a lovely, versatile block. I would just grab the instructions anyway, so that yeah. I knew how to do it when I needed to do it, when I wanted to do it. Yeah. You, it's, it's the sort of block that you can have great fun with. As I said, if you wanted to put several of those blocks together with one of those on That's oh a Christmas lovely tree. yeah yeah I've got that written down in the show book Jane. yeah expect to see that soon everybody yeah you could do that on the side of a placemat so you'd have the three together and then you'd have a square of plain or or patterned fabric this side mm -hmm. and you've got your Christmas trees amazing you could put, even put a little gift in there couldn't you at Christmas yeah you know there's the the options for this block it's such a vo versatile this flying geese unit is, well, we love flying geese units, don't we? And it just makes all sorts of wonderful things. Gemma's thrown some more exciting things. Oh, what's she got? What's she got? What's she got? Let's just move these out of the way. So we've got the stocking panel. This is an advent stocking panel. It's got 25% off. So it's gone from eight pound. Was that eight ninety nine? That sold out at full price. Yeah. We just, we didn't we found we got one. an extra one. These are such cute little stockings and they've got the instructions of how to put them together to make a row of bunting stockings to hang on your mantelpiece or down your oh, stairs. I love that. And all the I numbers on the top. Bit. They're lovely little Tower. gift in each. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. Scandy. Scandy. We discounted that. Yes, it is now £5 something silly. Really? I've just lost the label now. Amazing. £6 and 8p. Six pounds and eight p. Oh, I'd have had that if I'd have actually looked through the box properly. <laughs> I didn't see that one. I love the oh, Scandi yeah. range; it's beautiful. So there's that panel. Oh, we've got llamas. There's not many of these, is there? Only a few of these left. Um, Thirty percent off these. They were nine fifty nine, and now they're six seventy one. Oh, again, I love these. Make beautiful cushions with these and little, and and little tote bags for yeah. little people. Emily wants one. Surprise, surprise. You can see those on your on your garden furniture. It's upside you? down, sunshine. sunshine. Get this last bit of summer sunshine Jane, that we're can having. You spin it around so it's up the right way around. Thinking, yes, yeah. forget upside that. Down upside down llamas. Gravity Standing defying on llamas. Upside down, down, side up. Maybe they're Australian one ones. Another. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the mood I'm in. Could be one way or another. But you've got your half meter heavens that you could also chuck in your basket. Oh Where's yeah, from panel? the same range. Yeah. yeah. I also think, because um, Emily's going to need a little school bag, a little mini book bag. Yes, that would be perfect, gorgeous, wouldn't, wouldn't it? it? Um, Dawn said, I was a hotel receptionist in 1972. We had a uniform of a canary yellow crimpling trouser suit. Ooh. Yeah, she said, at 17 I was not amused, so left after two weeks. It was hideous. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just impressed at that. This is another stocking panel. This is a large stocking panel. This is a Lewis and Irene. Huga. Range. Oh, is this a glow one? Hugo glow. Hugo glow. glow. So, so glow in the these, dark one. All these bits here in the white. In the yeah. white will glow in the dark. You'll need to charge it. So don't think it's going to work as soon as you get it out of your packet. Leave it in the daylight for a little while, and then that evening it'll start to glow in the dark, which can be a bit spooky when you go into your sewing room at night and there's all this fabric glowing at you. But it's fine. So you've got your stock in there. You could either make two stockings or one by putting them together, but you could just use these as separate fronts. And then you've got your little um, gnome to make into a cushion. Again, you could just use the front and have two cushions, or you could put front and back and have one. 
because that is the back of him and that's the front of him. So he's a little snuggly. So that's Amazing. rather lovely. And that's now nine pounds and nine pence after being thirteen ninety nine. Oh come on. But there's there's only a couple of those. As yeah, well, there is only a couple of those. Many. Sue's just catching up with the Cornwall news. She says, what? You're moving the business too? No, 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 the business stays. The business stays No, here. we're still here. We're yeah. going to be here. Because otherwise I have to move everybody. And that's <laughs> and as not much fair. as we all love to move to Cornwall, it's yeah. not possible. No, not possible. <laughs> and then so, we've got advent calendars here. Ah, Sue's moving to Cornwall too at Christmas. Oh, oh, thanks. Thanks. Look at that. So these are the Lewis and Irene Hooya. Hooya. Advent calendar. So that's your background. And then, and you, then cut these out are your and pockets. Yeah. So you cut those out. There's a little dotted line there that's a short of your seam allowance. Took that under, placed the corresponding square over the corresponding number. Can't see it, it's there. So they're all lovely. And are these glow in the dark as well, Jem? It's Hugo Glow, yeah. 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 Yeah, it is. So again, you've got all the white bits on here. All glow in the dark. That's so pretty. Number 12, that's lovely. So that's quite a nice one. That's a nice one to fill and give us presents to people. And it's the sort of thing that becomes a classic and is put away each year and comes out and used again and again. And there's only a couple of those ones left, isn't there? Mm -hmm. Is that all of them? Yeah. I think yeah. so. I think so. Nice bargains yep. there. There are bargains galore, galore, galore. Nothing to this see there. It's this not a panel. It's not a panel. Oh, right. Turn into a little frock for Emily, I think. Oh, oh are you lovely. keeping that one? a border piece, yes. It's one, piece of half, one half metre of fabric tash. It's not a panel, look. Oh, isn't that uh, lovely? Oh, that Definitely. is a minty dress. That has got, that has got pillowcase yeah. dress all so, over it. fastest fingers first with those, because there's only a couple of each, isn't there? There's not many. Sure. So, Absolutely. yeah, and they're bargains, 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 bargains. Yeah. So there you go. That's today's quilt. Ah, oh, perfect. Show. Lovely bundle. Um, Rosina wants to know what the subscription is. She can't see it on the website. So, Rosina, we have been doing this subscription now for, what is, is this number eight? Something like that, isn't it? Quite a while. Yeah. yeah we've um, got a good chunk of the way through it. And it, it is our planes subscription. So we're not going to open up, the, because we're more than halfway through it now. We're not going to open the subscription up because it's not worth it. But you can buy the bundles each month. Yes. So they won't automatically be sent to you as with all of the subscribers. Um, but if you would like the bundles, you, you won't miss out. Oh, all you need sneeze. to do is just buy them off the website. Bless you, Jane. Thank um, you. And Gemma has got them loaded onto today. Uh, she's tagged them and everything on today. What I'll do is I will now, we're further into the show, is I'll grab all of the bundles and I'll move them up towards the top of the page yeah. so they're all together. What it means is that if you have the bundle each month, after the January is the last one with the subscriptions in, I think, is it, Jan Gems? I think that's our Yeah, that'll be a last one. You will have, is it something like 88 fabrics? Yeah. Because we give you eight fat quarters or long quarters, you can decide which you'd like. And you will have one of each of all of our planes. And I know that um, a lot of you are saving the labels and cutting a little snippet yeah, off the end. Making so your, you've own got your own little shade book so you know what, what the number is and what to reorder. And that's the subscriber perk is that theirs are labelled. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't label the ones that aren't ordered in the subscription just because... Well, we've, we've got, got to give people some perks, some, some we, perks, eh? yeah. Yeah. Um, labour intensive as well. But you, well, by looking back at the website, you'll be able to see which colour is which. And um, you will get, there's one colour that's duplicated, and that's the terracotta, which is a nice colour to have because it's a very handy filler fabric. It's a nice shade. Mm. So that's the only one. But every other one is a different shade each month. And over, over the months, you will build up a nice reference for all the colours within our planes ranges, which is lovely to have. Beautiful. Well, we kept being um, asked, didn't we? Could yes. you do... Um, do you a have a card. shade card? And we're yeah. like, no. And it's so labour intensive because we do so many. It just wasn't a possible thing. So this was the next best thing. Yeah. It's a nice way of you, of you having a reference for future purchases and matching the planes up with your own fabrics within your stash as well. Because we do it with the half metre heavens. Yeah. We're able to match the colours because you can't always see on a computer screen or even really on, on the television screen. So um, it's nice to know exactly what the shade is which is lovely to have 
Lots of those llamas jumping into people's bags, I see, which is lovely. But a llama loving going on. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> as it should be. Yeah, um, guys, please do, as ever, make use of the sales. And also, Jane, do you just want to grab those um, Philip Hocker size mums just this so one. that we can. Because I think this is a half meter. Yeah, I think this is a cracking bundle with this a massive lovely, discount on for beautiful you. Beautiful colours. So if you missed it, and I know a lot of you've joined us part way through, we've got a four fabric bundle of Philip Jacobs Hocker Size Mums. It's one of one of his all time. Well, I just love it. Beautiful colours. It's got a cracking discount on it today. So if you fancy treating yourself, four half meters. Um, I think should have been over thirty pounds and is twenty four ninety nine. We're in the in the position that if you ordered two lots, we would be able to cut it in meter pieces yeah. for you. So, you know, if you order multiples, we'll cut them in a continuous piece. Well, Karen, if you you know want to dress out of each one, yeah, why not? If you you know, <laughs> if you put down six units, we'll cut you three meters of each. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Just saying, and you'll get that discount. Wouldn't they make amazing dresses? They'd make amazing dresses. They would make amazing Absolutely. dresses. Yeah. Maybe we could just commission Karen to make our our Natasha makes uniform with beautiful fabrics. Would be far better than mm. our telly tubby based efforts. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I think that's fair. I think that is a fair thing to point out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Karen's probably just gone, what? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Scandy, min Scandy mini stocking panel has gone. Oh, oh someone's Swooped in yes. there. Got in there. Fastest finger first. Well Somebody done. Somebody else has just bought three of the caterpillars. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it's got to be done. Guys, These we discount these things for a reason for you. If um, you make, if you do things for like liners or um, quilts for care leavers, they're perfect to get them at the bargain prices. Yeah, that's that's yeah. that's where to do it, isn't it? Any, yeah. You know, any sort of charitable make or anything like that. Yeah. Um, so Half Me to Heavens go live tonight. We've got all those beautiful blue fabrics tags that you can, if you are getting your subscription, then if you want some, f if you want fancy some blues to go with it, yeah, nice. then crack on. Um, what else? Are Henry glass out? panels also sold out. Oh, the Henry glass panels sold out. Which as, one was that the one? Flower Child cushions. Oh, they sold out too. Fabulous, so amazing, quick. Yeah, yes. Don't they, hang around. they is going. Yeah, wonderful. Going, going, gone. Lovely, beautiful. Oh well, enjoy, enjoy those. Um, and we will be back on Monday, which is Block of the Month. The Bolt Japanese, Bolt Japanese Baltimore. Baltimore. Lovely. And it is the hemp block. Oh, that'll be nice. All, greens. all the greens. Lovely. Beautiful. All Super. the greens in all the world. Um, and then Tuesday, we have got Sarah Payne in for doing her Christmas show. Oh, lovely. It's going to be Sarah and Gemma. Nice. Um, and then Wednesday, what are you doing next week, Jane? I'm going to do something fun with the ombres. Fun with ombres. You know mm. what that is. <gasps> oh, that one that I kept mm. saying to Jane, please can we do this, yes. please can we do please yes. this. Yes. Oh, it's a beautiful, it's a really classic block. Yeah, Jane's Re way. Reimagined, let's say, reimagined. Yeah. Reimagined Jane's way. Yeah. Beautiful. In three different sizes, that. if I know rightly. Yes. Brilliant, 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 Wonderful. brilliant. Um, thank you, everyone. Where am I moving to? I'm moving to Cornwall, though. Yeah, she's just catching up on the news. You see, she's mm. been she's been off having oh, that COVID she's, and stuff, yeah, and then and then all person. the festivals in all the world. Lovely. So I'm going to be like just going past Lowe's door. Yeah, waving the way you go down. Past. Yeah. But do you know what? With with our viewers, I can stop off at uh, Elizabeth's. Yeah. She's just ten minutes off the M5, so I can just pop off there and then pop off with Lowe. You'll never get there. I'll never get there. It'll be the never-ending journey, but it'll be quite nice. It'll be lovely. It'll be lovely. Um, you are going to be up here. Do you need to explain this too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, I know. I know that. No, 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 no. I'm not just running off to Cornwall. Um, I yeah. So the I know a lot of you were concerned and asking Gemma when you saw her at Festival of Quilts. So how is this going to work? How does this work? Basically, Gemma does all the admin -y stuff either from here or from home anyway. I think um, I said Gemma runs the place anyway. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. She's great. That's her strength, not mine. Um, and the warehouse stays where it is yeah. because this is our central point for everyone. So that that still stays the same. Yeah. Um, there might be a couple more pre-recorded shows, but otherwise I'll be up doing the shows and then back down again because, you know. Because you can. It's work-life balance, isn't yeah. it? And I've got to, you know, if yeah. I don't spend time with my kids now. 
be I'm too late. I'm going to blink. Yeah. Freddie was saying in the car the other day, I can't believe I'm nearly nine. I'm still telling everyone I'm seven. I can't believe <laughs> I'm nearly nine. I'm like, you can't believe it, Bear. Mm. Now, come on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So they are grown up quick. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, adjustments need to be made. So there we go. Um, thank you very much, Shane. You're very welcome. You are fabulous as Always ever. Always a pleasure. Um, Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you can't just, just don't, you know, <laughs> what could possibly go wrong while you're in Cornwall with me discounting all the products? I know, I know, <laughs> ah. I know. <laughs> Lots Good of thing, fun. Guys. Oh. <laughs> uh, Rosina, I am going near Lost Withiel. So basically, Bodmin turn left. That's the best way I can yeah, describe it. Because no one's left. ever heard of where I'm moving to because it's no. so tiny. Lovely. And, um, but yeah, Bob Minturn left. There we go. Yeah. All right, everybody. Don't give us a wave. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.